Hello everyone, this is Erlin from the Experience Research Lab. Today I'll talk about Poisson Regression. Poisson Regression is a generalized linear model of regression analysis used to model count data and contingency tables. It's also known as a local linear model. Poisson Regression helps analyze count data. It describes which explanatory variables, x values, have a statistically consequential effect on a given response variable, y value, which is the count. In other words, frequently used in research, Poisson regression explains which independent variable has a statistically significant effect on the dependent variable. The explanatory or independent variable can be nominal, ordinal, or scale. However, the response or dependent variable is always numerical and it must be count, not a fraction or a decimal. Poisson regression assumes the response or dependent variable y has a Poisson distribution and a linear combination of unknown parameters can model the logarithm of its expected value. There are several types of distribution in the generalized linear model. Among others are normal distribution, exponential distribution, gamma distribution, inverse Gaussian distribution, and Poisson distribution. Now let's focus on Poisson distribution. A Poisson distribution is a probability distribution showing how many times an event is likely to occur over a specified time interval or period. In other words, it defines the occurrence of the event for a fixed time interval or period. Poisson regression models are best for modeling events where the outcomes are counts. Some of the examples are the number of miscarriages in several provinces or states within the last 12 months, the number of boys and girls experiencing abuse within three years, the number of students in different schools who failed the final exam within five years, the number of employees in various companies who left their job in their first year within the last decade, the number of defects in product manufacturing every day within the previous financial year, the number of traffic accidents on the highway in different seasons in the past five years. All these events are not supposed to occur. For one reason or another, it rarely and persistently happens. These are rare events because the number of occurrences is generally low. Therefore, the mean is usually close to zero. The main characteristics of a Poisson distribution is the discrete probability of the event. It is always independent of the others. The value of one tells nothing about the other. Even the errors are independent of each other. The occurrence of one event does not affect the probability another event will occur. The average rate or events per time interval or period is constant. However, changes in the rate from the combined effects of different explanatory or independent variables are multiplicative. At each level of the covariates, the number of cases has a variance equal to the mean. Now looking back at the distribution, we can also say that Poisson distribution is always asymmetric. It is positively skewed. Some say it is right skewed with a long tail toward the right. Regarding courtesies, it is always left aquatic, as shown here. In Poisson distribution, the value of lambda, which is the total number of events divided by the number of units in the data, is always higher than zero. As the value increases, the graphs look more like a normal distribution. Nevertheless, it will not behave the same. Regarding data distribution, there are several types of Poisson regression. Two of them are quasi-Poisson regression and multivariate generalized Poisson regression. The quasi-Poisson regression is a generalization of the Poisson regression. It is suitable to model an over-dispersed count variable. Meanwhile, the multivariate generalized Poisson regression is suitable for any kind of default dispersion. Poisson regression analyzes rates using maximum likelihood estimation, an iterative procedure to obtain parameter estimates. This iteration log behaves differently from logistic regression, which focuses on proportion. In the case of binary outcomes, some tend to associate Poisson regression with binomial regression. However, they serve different types of samples. Binomial regression deals with binary outcomes data from a finite sample. It gives the probability of getting our events out of n trials. Meanwhile, Poisson regression handles binary outcomes data from infinite sample. It gives the probability of getting our events in a population. 
Another difference is that the Poisson model is more robust to outliers than the log binomial models. Therefore, it is also suitable to estimate relative risk or risk ratio for binary outcomes. Despite the advantages, some say that Poisson regression is disadvantageous. The assumptions regarding the distribution of the underlying data make it less appropriate for some cases such as alcohol consumption. However, there is an alternative solution to this. The robust Poisson regression RPR model proposes the inference of regression parameters suitable for more general count data. Several data analysis tools support Poisson regression. Among others are R, SPSS, SAS, and STATA. In the upcoming video, I will show you how to run Poisson regression in our studio. For more insights into data, including data entry, data transformation, data analysis, and data visualization in SPSS, Microsoft Excel, or RStudio, please subscribe, listen, and watch. Our content is available in text, audio, and video format. Thank you for being with me today. I'll see you again in the other videos. Cheers.